The Economic Committee of West African State Parliamentarians has converged in Nigeria's capital to address the rising cost of food and shortages, climate and security challenges, as well as energy and a hike in poverty ratio across member states. Speaking during the opening ceremony of the first ordinary session of the Parliament for the year 2022, the Speaker of the Parliament, Honorable Sidi Tunis, said the ongoing Russia and Ukraine crisis and the recent COVID-19 pandemic have brought the hike in global food insecurity while restraining government's efforts to acquire resources that could help in tackling citizens' challenges to good living conditions across the continent. The gathering of the fifth legislature of the Economic Committee of West African State Parliamentarians is in fulfillment of the Supplementary Act, which gives an opportunity to discuss a wide range of issues of the community and render opinions on a number of referrals presented to the Parliament. However, these sacred duties have constituted debate on the floor of the fifth Parliament over the years, aimed at meeting the needs and aspirations of the people for good governance and accountability. While speaking, Tunis calls for collaboration across the board to ensure lasting solution to poverty that has heightened insecurity so as to guarantee peace and stability in the sub-region. These have all been geared towards addressing the welfare of the people we serve. As representatives of the people, our foremost duty is to act in accordance with the wishes of the people through providing effective oversight and facilitating consultations in the decision-making process. It has become evident that our people are much more concerned with the decisions we make and the ripple down effects they have on them. Each time I travel across the region, I am confronted with the hard questions. What is ECOWAS doing about food shortages? What is ECOWAS doing about rising prices of food and energy? What is ECOWAS doing about poverty eradication amongst others? These are the questions we must address, not only with policy formulations and conferences, but with actionable solutions that are indisputable. I pray we we'll place much more emphasis on practical results. We cannot afford to fail our people. The speaker, while condemning the Ondo massacre and Kaduna train attack by bandits in Nigeria, calls for a minute of silence in honor of the departed, adding that all ends must be on deck to tackle the ugly trend of attacks on innocent citizens in the region, even as he charged member states to boost their commitment in reducing climate change vulnerability in West Africa. Note. Terrorism, kidnapping and banditry continue to cause major setbacks for security in the sub-region. In Burkina Faso, Mali and the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the situation has worsened. We condemn the recent attack on the Kaduna International Airport and the Abuja Kaduna train that led to the loss of innocent lives and injuring too many others. The gruesome attack at St. Francis Catholic Church in Ondo State that led to the killing of many and many others unfortunate deaths across the region. Also, the president of the ECOWAS Commission, Jean-Claude Casibro, represented by the vice president ECOWAS Commission, Finda Kuruma, laments that despite significant progress in tackling security challenges, countries are still rippling with banditry, thus condemning the incessant attack on the Owo, Ondo State, Nigeria, that led to the cold blood of many worshippers in the country. As you all know, despite all the progress our member states are making in the running of their respective countries, our region continues to face numerous challenges in the areas of security, humanitarian issues, political and economic affairs. As regards the health sector, whilst the fourth wave of the COVID-19 pandemic is slowly fading away, the outbreak has highlighted intrinsic weaknesses in our healthcare infrastructure, especially in the area of vaccine manufacturing and in our preparedness to fight epidemics and pandemics which engulf our citizens. In the area of security, our region is still confronted with terrorism and its spillover effect onto our coastal states. We therefore welcome the Accra Initiative as well as all other efforts that are being used by our member states to fight this menace. On this note, 
We wish to extend our most sincere condolences to the President and the good people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, especially the Executive Governor of Ondo State, for the recent killing in cold blood of worshippers at St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo, Ondo State. We equally express our condolences to families of our member states whose loved ones have fallen victim to terrorist activities and banditry. May their souls rest in peace. On the political front, the ECOWAS Commission will continue to engage the military governments in Burkina Faso, Guinea and Mali to ensure the transition to democratic rule within the time frame that has been prescribed by the authority of heads of state and government. Mei Speaker of the Nigerian House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila, advocated for the unity of the parliamentarians so as to achieve the desired results. We need to understand and recognize that. When you recognize and you understand your worth and your role, that is when, when you begin to make the kind of impact that is required even by the framers of our constitution, whether written or unwritten, the role that is required of us. So that is the first thing we need to understand. Now why are we here? Who are we? What, are, what is our role? And this has been debated over and over and over again. And I hope that this, uh, this, uh, this august great body uh, will begin to set the pace for a better understanding of the role of parliament in any democracy, whether advanced or budding democracy. We in Nigeria started years ago what we call parliamentary di diplomacy. And we have used that instrumentality or that channel to resolve issues that even the executive were unable to resolve. Because between parliaments, parliament to parliament, a lot can be achieved. We did it in South Africa during the xenophobia uh, period when Nigerians were being killed. We did, it in, we did it in Ghana. We intervened in Ukraine recently when the leader of the House of Nigeria's House of Representatives flew to that part with uh, the Chairman of Foreign Affairs to bring our students home. And we did it with dispatch and with alacrity. And these are the things that you might think we're pushing the envelope in terms of parliamentary role. But sometimes you need to push the envelope and draw the line. Once you recognize your role as the representative of the people, you don't straight jacket yourself into just making laws. Sometimes you go beyond that. Even in the advanced democracies, America has done it severally, where their legislators got involved in some of these uh, things and achieved results. So we need to start thinking outside the box, because ours is a peculiar continent. And we need to start thinking outside the box to understand fully, again, like I said, the role of parliament in a democracy, whether fledging. The session will run through in the month of June 9 to July 2, 2022, and is targeted at addressing salient issues that are of importance for regional integration. Vincent Okushi, KTV News, Abuja. Yeah,